Hi all, this is Holly. We are still here in the north in Mazar. Um, it is about, gosh, it's almost 10 o'clock and the city is under curfew, but there are still a few people milling around. It's actually quite interesting because the Taliban are obviously very close to the city, but there is such little police presence, little military presence. It's quite fascinating. Um, I think it's very much, people have a lot of faith in their leaders here, uh, which is Marshal Dostum. Commander Atanor and those names if you're not familiar with them, they were part of the Northern Alliance Which is what the US really relied upon when they went into Afghanistan immediately after 9-11 Which brings me to another point. Please check out my national interest article today. I've posted the link to it um, in my in my Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter and it sort of explains this new concept or it's not new It's an old concept, but it's one that really needs to be revived right now and that is the public uprising forces. Now these are basically volunteer fighters. In a way similar maybe you could compare them to the PMUs in Iraq but they're very much loyal to their provincial capitals, they're loyal to um, Dostum or Ahmasha Massoud or Atanor and um, basically those leaders are, are kind of a bulwark in, in hopefully keeping Mazar Sharif, which is where I am, out of the Taliban's hands. So I think their big appeal right now is that they want to get weapons um, to arm them and obviously the government has also quite it's a double-edged sword they have a you know a history with these different groups but anyway for a bit more of an explanation and and sort of to see whether this could be a game changer or not please check out the article uh, you'll probably be hearing a lot more about that term um, to see and hopefully we'll we'll sort of see what what happens but we're just staying staying positive here